Hi everybody, it's Agnes and it's another Neville Nugget for you. So this is from At Your Command and Neville says, as long as you are conscious of being imprisoned or diseased or poor, and I will add, or unloved or unwanted, so long as you will continue to outpicture or express these conditions. So that will be on your external radar. That's what you'll be experiencing. When man realizes that he is now that which he is seeking and begins to claim that he is, he will have the proof of his claim. So claim that you are wealthy, claim that you are loved. I am wealthy, I am loved. I am successful, I am traveling, I am whatever it is, healthy, I am deserving, I am worthy, whatever it is, claim it, claim it, claim it. And that's what this book is about. They are commands at your command. You command and then it comes. So you have to create like a line of energy between you and the thing whatever that little desire is over there, you claim it. I am it. I am a homeowner. I am a wife. I am a father. I am a successful musician. I am a gold medal Olympian. Whatever it is, you must claim it. So claim, claim, claim at your command. Now, I remember when I was practicing an affirmation, I was trying to let go at that time of the how and the when, and I was playing with that, letting go of it. So I came up with an affirmation that I loved from Florence Scovel Shin, the unexpected happens, my seemingly impossible good now comes to pass. It was a nice general affirmation. So I was practicing with that one because it was general and then it would allow the universe, God, source, whatever word you want to use to create something interesting for me that was out of the norm of my expectancy of what I could believe or could see or could think of where it could come from. So I was learning to let that part go and I was learning to be open to how handing that over to the God within and when handing that over to the God within. So I practiced this affirmation. I was doing my part of the work. Uh, the unexpected happens. My seemingly impossible good now comes to pass. So I used to say this for a half an hour on the way to work and a half an hour on the way home. And I was doing this an hour a day with one affirmation. Now, what happened after that was I got an interesting offer. A random person, as we know, is not random, but it was a direct response to what I was projecting. So random in the way that it was someone I had no idea and didn't know. She contacted my workplace and said, um, I'd like to have contact with Agnes Vivarelli. I've heard that she um, could help me possibly with a candle shop. Now, in those days, I was working in a candle shop, which was very, very specific. And the candle shop, we were designing them, creating the colors, we were picking the sizes, the wicks, the whatever. And me and this other woman who I was friends with, I worked for her, we were doing this as part of the candle shop work. So I had very specific experience in this random thing. So what happened was, this woman contacted me. I had a phone call with her. She said, can I meet you? I've got a business opportunity for you and I'd like to discuss it further. So I went to meet her in person to have a coffee and it ended up that she wanted me to fly to another state in Australia for the big trade shows and do all the buying for her for her newly purchased shop. Now her partner had died, had left her some money and she was putting it into this candle shop. That was something she'd always wanted to do. So I was part of her journey and I, she paid all my expenses. She gave me a budget. Um, I got to have all my hotel and all my food paid for. And in those days I was quite 
poor. So this was like, what? You know, it was like just total luxury for me at the time. And I had a fantastic time and I was healing from a broken heart at that time. So it was a fabulous distraction. And I did this for a whole weekend. I think we went for three days and two nights and it was wonderful and it was fun. And I remember thinking, wow, that was so random. Anyway, not long after I met another guy who I had met previously, but he contacted me and said, hey, can I fly you to the very top of Australia? I've got some flats there that I would like you to help me pick some tile colors or something. Anyway, he wanted me in a design capacity. So he paid for my hotel, my flights, my food, and he gave me some spending money, if I remember correctly, and I helped him do that. And that was again from doing that same affirmation. The unexpected happens, my seemingly impossible good now comes to pass. So those two things, why I'm sharing these two examples is they were, I could never have even conceived either one of these things. They were not even in my normal world, my little radar of what was possible. I was a shop girl. I loved doing that. I loved working in homewares. It was fun. But I was still very... Um, limited in my beliefs and my testing things out so this for me was an exercise in really opening up to the how letting it go and the when letting it go and seeing what that affirmation could pull in so it was a bit of a mouthful to learn at first I used to write it down and I'd have to keep looking at it because it was quite a long mouthful the unexpected happens my seemingly impossible good now comes to pass so something that's seemingly impossible that I can't even think about or conceive comes to pass and it did twice <laughs> so there you go lots of love everybody and I hope that helps you I will put the neg Neville Neggle Nugget I was going to say chicken nugget Neggle Nugget Neville Nuggets playlist that's what I'm trying to say for you down below for those of you that want to watch all the other ones that have been done since I think it started in 2015, the Neville Nuggets. So it's been a good four years and they're rolling along very slowly drip feeding to you. Lots of love and I'll see you in the next YouTube.